Hey guys, it's Tiffany Riley. Um, I apologize for looking like a mess. I'm not feeling well. It's been a really rough day. But someone had requested that I talk or do a video about deconstructing from Christianity or any religion, honestly. More specifically, I'm going to be talking about Christianity because that is the religion that a lot of people are deconstructing from. And I apologize if you hear noise in the background. So, there's, this is going to be a couple parts, this, I guess you can call this a little series. Um, first of all, deconstructing from any religion is not easy. You have to unlearn a lot of stuff, such as um, what, you, what the church has taught you, what that specific religion has taught you, etc. But I think I'm going to be talking a little bit more about Christianity, because it's been, again, that's the religion that a lot of people deconstruct from. Deconstructing from Christianity is not easy, as for any religion, deconstructing from any religion. Um, you will go through a lot of anxiety, depression, you'll feel a lot of guilt too, um, because there will be religious leaders um, telling you, you know, you shouldn't, if you do it, you know, God won't love you, God will send you to hell if you deconstruct from our faith. That's not true. That is just a fear tactic that religious leaders use to get you caught up into their lies and to make you more miserable than you've ever been. Now, I'm a deconstructing Christian converting to Judaism. If you want, if you guys want to know why I decided to convert to Judaism, that video, the link to that video will be in the description below. Um, like I said, deconstructing from Christianity or any religion is not easy. You will feel guilt, you will feel shame, you'll ask a lot of questions. The best thing to do um, is to research. Continue, do your research. Um, you can even go find more. You can even research different faiths. Um, if you want another if you want still religion in your life, you can search for another religion. You know, go to what is best healing for you. I have been agnostic Christian for most of my life, and up until recently. I am still deconstructing from Christianity, and let me tell you guys something, it's not easy. It is not easy deconstructing from a religion, especially when you have been told lies over and over again. It's, and even if you're still in a cult, first of all, my heart goes out to any anyone who is still in a cult. I feel your pain, as I was raised in a cult. And if, the, and if religious leaders have told you, if you deconstruct from us, then God won't love you, God will send you to hell, that is false. Your God still loves you, no matter what. And he tells you, come as you are. Come as you are, and that's what I'm learning. As a deconstructing Christian, that's what I'm learning. Is, and, I'm, and I even have books, and yes, there are books that will help you deconstruct from Christianity which I will go over later on in this series. But for now, we're gonna be talking about why I deconstructed, why I'm deconstructing from Christianity. I'm deconstructing from Christianity because I've suffered multiple, much abuse from the church. I was sexually assaulted back in 2015, March 5th of 2015. Little did I know that the sexual abuse started within the church. I had no idea I was being sexually assaulted in the church until I deconstructed from Christianity. One of the male ushers inappropriately touched me. And I was probably about in my mid-teens maybe, I'm not really sure, I don't remember that. That part, I can't remember. I was also taught a lot of stuff um, like I I was still I was I was an adult when I was still part of the youth the pastor told me you know if to go to an adult Sunday school class I did not feel comfortable around adults at that time because I was still young I was still you know growing and learning and everything so I didn't feel comfortable but yet they wanted me to go to an adult Sunday school class but I didn't feel comfortable my last, my last time at my old church 
was back in July of, two, uh, I think it was July of 2018, when I wanted to work at the church instead of volunteer. That was when the pastor had kicked me out of the church and said, you can no longer serve here. I cried. And I said, if God really wanted, you know, if there was a God, he wouldn't dismiss me for what he, from what he called me to do. And of course, it led up to Faithful Day, which, will, which we will get into another time and another video. Um, like I said, deconstructing from Christianity or any religion is not easy. It's definitely a journey. It's still a journey for me. Um, it's definitely still something that I struggle with. But let me tell you, find your own path. Continue to do your research. Continue to study whatever path or religion that you want to be down on. It's a never-ending process. Um, I will find some resources on, you know, everything. I will find some resources on everything and just trying to, I, I want to help as you guys as much as I can, so what, just, what I know as I'm deconstructing from Christianity and kind of help you guys into your own path or whatever path that the universe that your God has led you down on. It's a never ending learning process. Hell, I need even after converted, I, even after when I'm converted to Judaism, I'll still learn. It's a, ne it's a never ending process. Even if you've done it for 10 plus years, you never, ever, ever stop learning. Never. The universe is always talking to you. Always. If you wonder you're, if you're on the right path, the universe will let you know. So, just, yeah, just kind of look out for a couple videos because I'm going to be talking a little bit more as the time goes on. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.